How's it going, everybody out there on the internet? This is Obscure Terrain at another trailhead. Yup, for episode three, Three Forks. Uh, our guest today is the cutest guest ever, probably so far. Sorry, Frank and Abby, but yeah. But it's uh, Wesley's taxidermy dog. You'll yep. see him. Look at him right there. Yeah. You see him? Isn't he a cutie? He's the, the cutest. Yep. He's got that wide-eyed look, like he's taxiderm. <laughs> Just kidding. He's actually not taxidermy. He's real. Even though he's kind of frozen like taxidermy. <laughs> he's terrified. He's scared of this trip. Yeah, he can smell all the different adventures things up ahead. Yeah, it's uh, it looks pretty mountainous up there. So, yeah, it um, does. Yeah, my name is Wade McMahon, and I'm Wesley Solis, and this, this is, is Akamaru. Say hello. No. <laughs> <laughs> and we are obscure terrain. Um, our next adventure, like we said earlier, is called Three Forks. And what it is, is we are hiking from three rivers, uh, and we are gonna hike up over Crest Trail and down into South Fork. Um, and it's a pretty exciting trail. There's gonna be a pretty heavy duty ele elevation climb in the beginning. Yep, for the first five and a half miles, we're gonna be ascending 3,444 feet. And that's, uh, we're probably not going to, we're planning on camping before that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we could do the last bit in the morning. Uh, it's pretty hot right now. Yeah. Uh, it's about 85 degrees. Yeah. But it feels hot. Yeah, it feels hot. Because the we're sun's in the... hitting us. Uh-huh. <laughs> but, uh, we, we... How, do you, how do you feel for this trip, man? Are you excited? You think we caught this? Yeah, I think we got this. Uh, we couldn't ask for more better weather. It says it's supposed to rain, but it doesn't look like it. But you know how these mountains are. Storm can come up quick, but we're prepared for that. But I feel pretty good. What about you, Wesley? I, I feel pretty good. My main concern is water, and I know there will be water on the trail. So, Yeah, the, so there's water in the beginning of the trail. They even said there's a waterfall, which we're pretty excited to see. Yeah, hopefully we can capture it on film and bring it back to y'all. Yep, and they also said that there's water in South Fork as well. So all there, all we really need water for is that last ascend up to the Crest Trail and uh, uh, the descend back into South Fork. And there's water in South Fork as well. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about Akamara? Oh, he's, he's, <laughs> he's excited. He's, he's like, ready to jump and do it. Let's do this. Oh, no, no, oh, no, no. Not no. just yet, not little yet, buddy. Not yet. You'll, hit the, you'll hit the tripod and then and everything we'll will go fast. <laughs> yeah, but... uh. So it's calculated just a little over 12 miles. Uh, it doesn't seem too bad, but I think it's just, we're, we're planning on using three days and two nights for this. And it's just because of the elevation. And when we hit South Fork, uh, there was a fire of uh, years, uh, like a few years back, well, actually longer. But over the years, the wind has knocked down a lot of the trees that burnt. So they said it's uh, trails pretty covered. Yeah. We're gonna have to be scaling logs. We're gonna do our best to clear it as we go as a public service. Yeah, but there's gonna be stuff that only two of us can't clear, so we'll scale it. Yep. But uh, yeah. Um. So overview: three days, two nights, twelve mile hike, three thousand four hundred forty four foot climb, and the first five and a half miles to hit Crest Trail. Hike south on Crest Trail, and then dip off down into the canyon of South Fork. It's gonna be great. Yep. This little guy's excited and ready. This is his first packing trip. This is his first backpacking trip. But he seems pretty, pretty antsy, so we're gonna let you go. Uh, we'll see you guys on the trail. Have a good one. Make sure to like, subscribe, and bang the bell.
This through hike will be in the Sacramento mountain range. We will be starting at Three Rivers Trailhead and picked up at South Fork Trailhead. Three days, two nights is how long we accounted for. In the first five and a half miles, an increase of 3,000 plus feet in elevation must be hiked. We will crest just north of Sierra Blanca Peak, then hike towards the peak before descending into South Fork. Our desired camps will be located here and here. Like always, it's not that simple. There is also high chance of being hit by thunderstorms. to you guys about uh episode three uh three forks. called three forks yeah we uh it was supposed to be a through hike and we were starting at three rivers and going up and over down into south fork we are officially on the three rivers trail we just began and it is already gorgeous we hear the water running down there uncle Maro's taking a pee marking his territory He's like, this is mine, that's mm. mine. And Wesley's uh, sending a text to our pickup. Josie, I'm texting you right now, whenever you see this in the future. <laughs> It was really, uh, there was no clouds in sight. I mean, not a single cloud. Yeah. Not even like that, like weird tinted gray color yeah. in the sky. Really, really thin. That might turn into clouds later. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, it was nothing. We did see it was supposed to be storming, but there was no storm in sight. Yep. Too bad we didn't have our Doppler radars. Yeah. <laughs> when we got to the actual trail, to get our backpacks packed and get set up with the dog. Took a little bit longer than um, we, we would have liked. Yeah. But we got on the trail about 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. and we started walking up and stuff. some water source so we weren't worried about water like or we were hydration yeah we were we were pretty st stoked ready to go like i felt good my pack was light because i wasn't carrying much water and it was a beautiful day like it was so relaxing still no clouds in sight we're deep in the forest now dog was having a blast oh yeah he loved it and uh we uh we ran across one one backpacker 
And uh, I guess he stayed up there uh, the night before, and he was coming down as we are going up. And uh, after, he talked to us about a camp that he was at and that it was great. And uh, he said he, he saw some elk. That's what he told us, I think. Yep. Said he could hear them. Mm -hmm. Just rambling off in the bushes and being an elk and whatnot. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Hakamaru! We are taking our first break. Hiked a mile in. He took uh, Akamaru to the river, or to the creek, to get some, uh, some water. But look at this. This is... Some beautiful country. It's my first time back here. Uh, it's warm. It's not like the last episode, the Narrows. This one's definitely cooler. But those do look like rain clouds. So we could have another issue. But Oh well. I'm for it. Uh, it was cool because there was a point where we got into the mountains where we were just walking and there was cliffs on both sides and we were just basically switchbacking across that creek. Yep, this is everything I imagined back here. Check this out. There's Wesley. Look at these cliffs. This is a kitty city. This is obscure terrain. No, like actually the terrain is pretty obscure. Yeah, it is pretty obscure. This is our guest. This is the cutest guest in the world. Hi, cute guest. Akamaru. What are you doing? We are not sure where the trail is and it looks like we have to cross this log. Cause that looks kind of tr more traily than, than what's up ahead. Here we go. No fly. Oh fuck man. I'm not ditching. I do this 60 feet in the air, huh? <laughs> I don't think that can support our weight in the pack, so. Shit. It's about midday and we stopped to eat lunch and our do the dog freaks out real quick and this other hiker actually pops up on us. So he's more like a trail runner because he was running, he was wearing like the yeah, trail just, running shoes, yeah. had a camel back. Yeah. So he told us, he was like, hey, be careful guys, they flash flood warning, all this area, yada yada. And we're looking up in the air like, eh, not a cloud in the sky, what does this guy know? He's too busy running around to even take time to smell the roses, you know, and understand the weather. <laughs> um, well, the only part that worried me about that is uh, we're hiking towards a mountain, so we could only see maybe... Three quarters of the sky? I would say three quarters is a good number. Yeah. Probably like 75% is more accurate. So we didn't know what was behind the mountain. We couldn't see the clouds behind the mountain. And, uh... <laughs> so we didn't know what was coming. So we kept going, walking, and then all of a sudden it starts sprinkling. So we stopped, put our rain gear set up on our packs and on ourselves. Yep. And by the time we got done doing that, it stopped sprinkling, so we were like, okay. Let's just leave it on. Let's just leave it on, but I guess it's not gonna rain. And then a few moments later, it starts pounding on us. Yeah, just hitting us, like it'll, it'll, it never stopped raining, it just would get heavy, and then it'd lighten up, and then get heavy, and then it'd lighten up. And uh, we crossed we crossed the creek again, and then we started switchbacking up the other side of the mountain, and uh, then it started hitting us hard. Thunder and lightning coming out down around us. Yeah, and like the, close to us too. And we had to walk through some tall, tall like brush, and, uh, and it, I had my spear. Yeah. So I was kind of <laughs> yeah. worried about a lightning rod. I was like, hey, wait, um, do you think I should be holding this seven foot metal rod in the air while there's lightning going on around us? And I remember telling him, I was like, yeah, I've been thinking about that for a while now. <laughs> 
Just, uh, it was striking a lot around us. Like you could feel was, the heat, kind of. It was scary. Like yeah. we were, we were just prepared. Like all right, we need to find a place to camp, and like there's no need. We, the, I mean, if we stop where we are. We're on the side of a mountain. Like there's, there's nowhere to camp. We're exposed. Let's find an area. Let's just keep moving. Let's just be prepared. Well, it's starting to rain, so we're gonna get our packs. Bust oh. out our rain gear. Yeah, waterproof. Set. It's nice though. Ladies and gentlemen, this is obscure terrain. Yep. So, uh, rained on us for a little bit. It was a hard blast of rain. Yeah. But it was for a short period of time. Yep. But we're keeping the rain gear on because it's starting to again. But no, there's, there's a lot of thunder going on. So we're gonna keep going. Hopefully, we find a little overhang or something that we can uh, protect our tents so we don't get destroyed by hail or something. Yep. So. They say it might be flash flood, so we're gonna try to stay high enough out of the out of the riverbed and Yeah, we'll, we'll let you guys know. Yep, we'll see you at the camp. Yep, later. We're up on this mountain. We're hoping to find a flat spot that's higher than the creek. Cause that creek is starting to fill up a little bit more. So we're yeah. like, damn it, man. So we finally find this spot. And we get there and I poked the spear in the ground and we set up a temporary shelter. Um, it was perfect. We set up this temporary shelter. We're nice and dry underneath it. Me and Wade get comfortable. And Akamara comes in and then shakes himself dry. <laughs> And, and then starts digging up, proceeds to dig a hole and throwing mud on me. Yeah, he starts digging and throwing the dirt like right at us and then he cozies up in his little f***ing hole and we're all covered in mud and stuff and we're just looking at him like are you kidding right now? Um, as soon as the rain broke we, we jumped at the opportunity to set up camp. Yeah, we set up our tents, we started building well we actually built the fire pit while it was raining actually so and uh, we covered it so the ground would stay kind of dry under there and uh, we put a little bit of wood in there but uh, it wasn't going to work, everything was soaked already and it rang so we created this oven 
with the sterno fuel and we're making it as hot as possible in there to keep burning some of these pieces of wood and drying other the other wood on top out so we just need fire and once we get it going it'll be dinner time well eventually when the sun went down a little before that uh it stopped raining and we were so happy like we were able we to were like, drying out our clothes yeah over the fire at least trying yeah i got now i now own quick dry clothes so i burned my boot well we made those rocks so hot and uh i put my boot on there and it was only on there for what two hours no, I wasn't on there for two hours. For like a couple of seconds. I smelled something funny and I was like, what is that? And I picked my boot up and it melted. It just melted the like tongue and stuff. It burnt it up. And I was like, mm. I was so mad. He was pretty upset. But you know, I wasn't going to show it. He showed it. I can't. No, he did it. So it, it just, it was rough. Yeah. And then it started, we got to eat a warm meal and stuff. And but then it was time for bed. And it just started raining. So then we like lay down for bed and I hear, I, I, who knows if it was like an animal Oh yeah. <laughs> or if it was um, the rocks moving because the creek was starting to fill up. Like, cause we had giant rocks near us, but I heard something crashing around. And as soon as I heard something, the dog like leaves the tent, my tent, and goes over towards Wade's tent. And I'm thinking something's like behind me, but. I, like, I can hear him. I can hear him yelling at me, but it's <laughs> raining and I, I don't know what he's saying. And then he keeps yelling. I'm like, what the hell? So I get my flashlight and I unzip and the first thing I see is Akumaro right there at my tent. And I just see these eyes light up and for a brief second I was like, oh, oh, hang on, it's a dog. <laughs> and then I yell out, go to bed, Wesley. <laughs> yeah, but I heard something. It was actually nice having like the rain slam yeah. so hard on your tent because it makes like a, almost like a, like, you know, people like, People in Hollywood buy them little machines that make like forest rain noises. Yeah. While we actually had the real rain. Yeah. And we, we were actually rain. in the forest, so. And it was, it just kept going. Yeah, and it, it was relaxing. Going. It just threw you to sleep. But then we woke up in the morning. And it was still going. And it was still going just as hard. <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding me? It's still raining? So. Everything got wet. Even me, my feet and pants got wet. I'm guessing my rain fly was not set up properly or maybe you also have to put an extra tarp on top of a rain fly when you have this much rain. But it looks like we might actually have to go back because we were not prepared to um, start fires with like, with like wet fuel out here. So we're not gonna be able to eat breakfast. Um, we don't, it, it rained really hard all night long. So we, we might have to go back. We still haven't made that decision just, just yet. But we'll keep you updated for dramatic effect. Ooh. It has been raining all night. I think we're gonna have to wait for a little break. Get everything torn down, waterproofed, and get the out of here. Well, I'm packed up. <sighs> it's been raining non-stop. I thought I was somewhat prepared for the rain, but man, it's it's too much. We hear the river or the little creek. It used to be a creek. We hear it's getting louder. So we're gonna backtrack back out of here before it becomes too dangerous to get up and over because it's gonna be slippery, we're gonna be beat up. Uh, it's just not safe, it's not worth it. Just so you know too, you always gotta know when to make the smart decision and this is a smart decision. Never be ballsy and bold and think you could do it all because that's when accidents can happen and you're stuck out in the middle of nowhere. It's just not good for your partner that you're with and whoever you're backpacking with and uh, just <laughs> search and rescue. They don't want to go search and rescue your ass. They don't want to go looking for you. So uh, yeah, we got about 3.6 miles to get out of here. So see you guys down there.
one point we reached where we were just soaked. We were about to cross this like area that had a log going over, but we found a little secret area. So we wouldn't have to go over this deep pool of water. And we heard something and it was a waterfall. And we're like, you know what? Screw it, let's do it. Let's take our packs off and just go up there and check out this waterfall. So we did. It was pretty awesome.